Hello, dear my call. This is Alexander from Shaska Tech. Uh, it's my colleague Lily who communicated with you yesterday. Yeah, about the A nine five X Max. This TV box you received and you found there's some issue. Uh, comes out after being updated, right? Uh, to be honest, personally, I am not professional on the TV box device. But uh, these two days, we made several rounds communications with guys, with technicians of original manufacturer of this TV box. So, uh, before recording this short video, personally, I I made a demo test by myself. Uh, so, regarding your some typical questions, I decided to record this short video and uh, share with you. Hope it can help solve involved issues that could exist. Uh, frankly speaking, uh, according to our own experience, uh, this box's total performance is always good. Yeah, and we we personally think that this remote is good to use. Uh, to be frank, so um, well. Let me introduce uh, use uh, the typical installation of mine. This is the TV box and I plug it into the socket and I use this portable projector as a displaying tool. Unlike, uh, unlike you, I do not have the TV at hand. So this is a simple display screen tool. Yeah, I will display it to the wall. Of course, at this moment, I have already um, power on the, the box device. The box device, yeah. I will close, shut down the light to get a better view. As I can see, as I can see, we have already accessed the the main menu status of the box, right? First, uh, let me uh, share with you the information about uh, some of your typical questions one by one, okay? First, about the time setting, 24 hours or 12 hours. Uh, here. We can access the settings, okay, settings. Now we can see a lot of list. So we access this one. Additional settings, should be so, yeah. And uh, we click to access the last one, more settings. Yeah, more settings. It's a wall, so the, the picture is not so clear. And uh, currently we can see network connected Devices, something else, yeah. Uh, let's click to to check Google system. Yeah, system. Okay. In fact, the main operations shall be processed under the systems. So the first is language, and uh, okay, it's not so clear. This projector is a small one, so its resolution is not so good. Okay, mm, first, uh, okay, we, we, we click to access, this is backup, right, and uh, something else, uh, about device, about device, yeah, let's check on this page. The first one is FOTA update status, legal information, model, Android version, and uh, build number, etc. Yeah. Here. Uh, let's go back to the previous uh, page, settings. And here we can see the date and time, right? Here we can change the time setting. Select uh, time row and use 24 hour format. Uh, I suppose this is currently the default time fault format. And now we can choose to change it to uh, 12 hours format. As we can see before change, before change, uh, issues 13, 13, yeah, is in 24 hour format, but if we disable it, it now access 12 hour format, is 1 p.m., right? Uh, this should be easy and convenient to operate, just under the settings, 
under the settings the last option more settings and then we can access system and then we can access date and time to enable our or disable our 12, uh, 24 hour format or 12 hour format this shall be your concern one I, I guess so and uh, regarding the unexpected issue you are facing after uh, after updating right my opinion is as follows yeah according to the also according to the instruction of the engineer of the original manufacturer first I wonder whether you can uh, yeah we access the settings again we access the settings again when we meet any issues we we, we can first as you or uh, expected we can access to reset all data back to factory settings okay so we still access here and we still access the more settings the same page as shown previously and now we can access the system the last one and now about device right a a95 x max and let's have a check Uh, its status okay let me check somewhere else uh, reset options I guess so okay let's make it clearer the first is uh, about the network connection right reset Wi-Fi mobile Bluetooth and the uh, second is reset app preferences and the second is erase all data factory reset okay when we when we meet with some problem we we can access this to click to erase all data it means that the device will access the factory reset status okay uh, let's let's access it to to operate the erase all data factory reset status okay uh, it has warning okay when we need to erase all data from the from your phone's internal storage okay we click yes we choose it confirm it sh should be confirmed I cannot see it clearly Okay, you read everything. Are you sure? Yes. Uh, now we access the factory um, data reset status to to return all the settings, all data back to factory uh, status. It may take some minutes. I guess so. So let's have a short wait. Yeah. Uh, is on the wall and the wall is not so clean so the pictures may be uh, blurred if compared with yours yeah but I think the uh, the video itself shall offer some intuitive view about uh, the, the, the genera general operations uh, now as we can see the, the page shows erasing right okay So when we face with some um, issue after doing some modification or upgrading, uh, the, the <coughs> first uh, step that is recommended by the technicians of the original manufacturer shall be reset back to the factory settings. Yeah, this oper operation shall solve some just unexplained or unexpected issue.
By the way, uh, according to introduction of the original manufacturer's staff, the latest version of its firmware that is updated is launched by then yesterday in February 25. Yeah. So after we reset back to the factory settings, we may upgrade it to the to the latest version and then have a simple check. Regarding the time set, the time zone, the time format, uh, it's uh, as initially shown to you. Yeah. The displaying tool is a projector, so the picture may be not so nice, yeah, unlike displayed on TV. And now it's, uh, it's black, yeah. Snowy. Well, it seems that this process of return uh, reset back to the factory settings will take relatively long time and uh, some patience may be needed for this process to be completed. Uh, okay. I, I suppose that uh, it's better for me to wait for the completion of this factory resetting and then I will record a second video to display to you uh, to, to maybe to upgrade to the latest version which was launched by the technicians of original manufacturer. It, it should be uh, 2019 mm, February 25, yeah, the latest version and then we can simply check its performance. Uh, I suppose all involved uh, operations shall then solve your concerns or your questions because this process took so long time and uh, it's not worthwhile to wait to just uh, record the, the, the process. Yeah. And I will come back again a bit later. Thank you.